Welcome back to Death Mark. Let's finish these things. Who now, are we taking? Uh, we're supposed to take Banshee with us, but we're gonna save a lot of time and just take Hero with us. We're gonna take the one that doesn't believe. We're gonna take the one that doesn't believe, and we're gonna make, make a believer, believer out of her! Let's take her down to the South Alley. Jesus, see this thing for herself. So we'll head back down into the manhole. So now that we have the key, we can go to places we couldn't before. For example, back here. So the idea of what Banshee is supposed to do is he remembers what was on these walls. And he'll tell you what was on them, and that'll help you with the live or die thing later. But, got the guide here. I went ahead and wrote them down before, uh, before I came here, you know, so he, he told me, so. Yeah, what did he say? Anyway. What does he remember? It's just a whole bunch of uh, army posters. Oh. A bunch of army propaganda from the 40s. Bad shit. So we use the key and we can go in here now. And horror! Hmm. Is she holding anything? Yes. Wow, really? Do do. <laughs> okay. Seems a bit blasphemous. Hey, she's not using it. Her head's cut off. That's more blasphemous. There's a few actual skulls in there. Yes, there are. There definitely are. In fact, one of them looks sl only slightly decomposed. That looks pretty recent. Yeah, I was about to say, is that the experiment? So this is where it was. Let's take it and bring it to its owner. Bag. Like what? I thought he'd say that. <laughs> Don't judge. Sometimes you have to have a conversation with yourself. Well. All yeah. right. How do we figure this one out? Like, well, logically. One of these things doesn't belong. Hmm. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's carry it by the hair. All right. <sighs> Put it in. Bag. Okay, anyway. Speaking of which, is that head now in your inventory? It is. We have it with us. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It's probably really, really gross. The head retrieved from a box full of Buddha and human heads. It's dry like a mummy. What hair remains to, seems to be a woman's. The cut looks rough like it was done by a... Oh! God. Why'd you... I, I wanted to spare you from that, but... Well, you... I mean, I still want to see it. I may not like it, but at least I like it. That made no sense, but... Whatever. Next we're heading is through here. I can only pick up one more head. Surprise. Hmm. Uh, oh. So we just got a shortcut, right? This is the way four. We haven't been here yet. Don't make me go further into the darkness. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, great. I can't move. So with the info that Banshee gives you, you're supposed to get through this. So what's the base's slogans? Ah. Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. Final battle in the homeland? Any guesses? Uh, one mil 100 million honorable deaths. Correct. I 
don't know where I pulled that from, but it worked. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Give birth for the sake of the country! Is that a very good victory <laughs> shout? <laughs> Safe pregnancy! <laughs> Show your determination! Okay, set myself on fire. We won't lose! Uh, send forth a hundred million fire. The land of the gods is indestructible! Oh, okay. Because, you know, they're all about the gods and shit, it seems. Except for the, you know, cutting off heads. Well, yeah, they're trying to drain its power, I think. But it doesn't work that way. But the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? Absolutely not. We should surrender. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance. If the divine winds blow! Is that what kamikaze means? Yeah, it's kamikaze means divine wind. Really? So by sacrificing themselves, they shift the winds in their country's favor, you know, yeah. Wow, that actually worked. So they think we're a new recruit to the soldiers. Yeah. So that's why we saw a new recruit ghost. So now we head left. I'm sure that's probably nothing. What's the writing on the wall? Does it say anything? Looks like... I... I? Let's see. Oh, hey! <laughs> Where have we heard that before? Hmm... Eisenhower. Take down Eisenhower. There's a couple more corpses in here. It's alright. Like room in the settlement section. Hmm, a headless corpse. I wonder if we should put a head on it. So if you look at the uh, memos, you should be able to figure out that uh, one of the experiments was putting a woman's head on a man's body. And that's basically what that is. That is a men's booty. Uh. That looks lovely. Hey, buddy, where's the entire side of your face? Oh, great. We're gonna get ripped apart by zombie ghosts. Oh. Oh, great. We are now experiencing the last few moments of this poor woman. You. can hear me, can't you? Don't be afraid. Soon! Alright! Die or die. Actually, what are we supposed to do here? So we just need to calm down. This isn't really happening to us, but we're gonna feel every minute of it. So, which tool should we use? A chisel. Uh, a chisel! Yeah, that sounds relevant to the case. I heard the word chisel before. Oh. They do not. Not yet, wait. Give you power. Uh, yeah, it was also in the notes. You remember? Uh, I just said it like two minutes ago. Female head and male body. Male head, male body. No girls allowed in heaven. <laughs> Boys club, box fort in heaven. <laughs> So, are these the ghosts of World War II 
workers killing all these people and I experimenting could, on them. Pretty sure it's just the minions of the cannon soldier. Ugh. This whole world tear it to pieces! Prepare to do that, I'll give it all to you. In the place where you hear me now, hate them, destroy them. Understand? Do you understand? Do you goddamn understand, Niskel? I can give you the power! I got a theory? I'm pretty sure that's what happened to Zukawa. Makes sense. I'm pretty sure. So the spider legs didn't work, so they gave her another snake. It's also why they called her a pig. You could say that. Yeah, it was a little weird. I mean, it was no getting my tongue cut out, but it certainly was interesting. <laughs> right, that's what you saw? You sure you didn't make it up, you fucking pervert? God, you're sick. I'm out of here. Small key here. Go towards the cabinet. Spirit's still dormant, so he's not on to us yet. So there's still some time. Still don't like the chanting, though. Still more chainsaws. Yeah, that's not good. The cannon soldier. Ironically, one big chainsaw. An old gun and some research records. Suddenly, berserk severe damage, sutra chanting, complete insanity. Only those who made themselves deaf, managed, rima, sane. Have spiritual eyes, like disposal vat, need sacred object, attack. Destroy human head, the heart of all this, need to destroy human head. That's all it says. Okay. Uh, I think we are done here. Yeah, we're done here. I guess that's a small hint as to what you have to do. I assume. Alright, next we go left. Check out the corpse here. And talisman. It's a what? Now we need to go back. There's nothing in there. And over to the left. Yeah, this looks like a better place yep, to be. Yep, let's go in there. Let's yeah. immediately go in there. Yeah. Best thing ever. Go right in there. And really, what's beyond there is just the other side. Like, remember when we came down here with eye and all that? Yeah. It's just over there. Ah, this looks great. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Every time she shows up looking like that, I just think she's about to, like, eat a hamster. Anything to say, me? Hmm. So, I already know what's gonna be in this box. 
Well, is there it's... anything else to look at? All right, so this is a statue that looks like a divine general. It has armor from the Tang Dynasty. Dong, Dang, Tang Dynasty, whatever. And this has... Looks uh, like it's held a weapon in his left hand. In his left hand. This is... Vidaraja, or whatever. Missing an arm, missing a head. Cute. Hmm. It's a Vazravana statue. It is also missing its head. Statue with its head cut off. It's a Buddhist ritual implement. Whatever. And it's a divine general. And add this guy down here. Pitifully. Every statue is mm. a male mummy. Oh. Oh. Don't open the box. Mm. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? If it's my wife's severed head, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, me too. Talismans. Tons of there talismans. There is some evil shit in this box. Absolute. E it's yeah. They put talismans in here like packing peanuts. What sort of hateful, evil, disgusting curse is in here? Was. Somebody took the head out! There's nothing in here. Which means that whatever caused this spirit, this curse, isn't in here. It's moving around. But what we have here? In my hand? Wait, I already took it? There's just one thing. A pillow. A pillow. Uh-huh. A freaking pillow is the cause of death. <laughs> Obviously not. To be continued. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Play the sixth chapter to figure out what really caused the thing. Yeah. Five bucks, please. Now. Oh, good. We only have ten minutes to exercise the demon. Oh, burnt scarlet, and then it immediately goes crimson. Oh, it just it, die! It went from dawn to sunrise. That's cheating! You can't do that. It must be right behind us then, if that's the case. That means it's like don't 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 don't. Don't. That would freak me. The it's fuck here! Out. It's in the cushion. Stab the cushion! It's here right goddamn now! Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, he's got us. He's not letting us get away. Ooh. Oh, boy. Hi, cannon soldier. Oh, what do we use? Right. <clears throat> First up, we'll use the gun with blanks, followed by the Kagurusuzu bell. Uh huh. <laughs> oh shit! Ah! Wow! Ow! That's uh, mean. Uh... Bleh. Bouncing up and down. Um, okay, how about to get you? Okay, so uh, I can't hear his chanting, so he can't control me. But I can use this pump pistol, and you just stick with the Kagurusuzu bell because she's female and can ring the bell like a priestess. 
Precisely. Hey, that worked! Ow! Okay, so he's solid again. Still hurting us, though. He's getting closer. I don't like that. Oh! He's got many sharp things! That's a lot of sharp things. That's a lot of arms. Uh, and is that a separate pair of eyes on top of his covered eyes? It certainly is. Alright, gross. Now we're gonna use the ranged sword sword. Uh -huh. And the Kagura Suzu belt. Hmm. Wait, he shoots the blade? Like we put the blade in the gun and fire? I think there's like a spring loaded thing inside of it. Oh. You wanna get closer, huh? Huh? Ah! The screaming really hurts. How much health do we actually have? Not very much now. Oh! Dude! <laughs> Kill oh! that motherfucking thing! Oh! Ah! Uh, mm. Rusty, rusted armory sword? And the bell? Okay, rusted armory sword and the bell. <laughs> yeah, we're almost dead. Oh, it's a tangible again. Ring the fucking bell! <laughs> oh. Oh, seriously? What? It's Banshee! He ran all the way from the mansion down here! Really? Oh. How... How terribly convenient. It's a chisel. Chisel its neck off. Perfect. In that room in the mansion. Yep. Of course. Gave birth to the spirit. It was in the mansion. Called it. Place was evil. All right. All right. Chisel its neck off. It's right on us. Alright, so, so... Let's use this large chisel and, and the, the bell. Well, I guess the Kagurasuzu bell, right? But where? Uh, I actually don't know this. Uh, between the eyes. Does it matter? It does. The right ear, because that's where the curse was talking to her from. Uh-huh. That easy. Don't like the fact the chanting is still going on. That's probably just the rest of the soldiers. So his mark is gone. You gotta be <laughs> shitting me! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Why do I still have the fucking mark?! <laughs> gotta cut off my right ear Come now. on! Ugh. Hiro, do you still have your mark? Or is it gone too? happened at the mansion. Hmm. Hmm. That's the door we opened. That one. Special chisel that we're holding in our hand. Mm. The heart of the curse that created the spirit. Mm. 
Probably, yeah. So after creating Buddha statues, they decided to make dolls. What happened 50 years ago? Well, we'll head back to the mansion and I guess discuss our next move, like this fucking death mark. Yeah, that's what we can do for now. <laughs> so are we literally going to take out every single statue in this underground, put all their heads back on, and reinstall them? Not today, though, that's for sure. That's and fair. Whatever. Here's where the game's going to check for the... Uh, Bad ending again. Oh. The bad ending says she won't bring him food and he becomes rabid, kills her. <laughs> well, that's probably because you killed the spirit that smells like 15 dog shit piles and 95 corpses compress into one mason jar. Why did you run? <coughs> Gotta keep the cardio up. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, we would have totally died if you didn't give us that chisel. Well... I mean, yours are. Are you sure you still don't want to go back to the mansion, though? Have a little dinner? Check out my watch. Oh, well, whatever. It still looks like a death mark. It burns like one, too. Ow! So now we know where the statues stolen are, so at least we can take, you know, three days to move those out, take them back to the shrine, maybe put the pillow back, whatever, I don't know. We'll figure it out. No, I'm gonna die, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm either gonna die or I'll be alright. But you know? I'll be fine, you know? I'll see you in three days, or you'll see me at my wake. You know, <clears throat> later. Please come to my funeral. Yeah, don't don't get too crazy, okay? You're already halfway there. You got the eyes to be a serial killer. I'm gonna turn on Snapped one day and see. I'm not a serial killer. I'm a realist. The story of Madoka Hero and the day she went crazy. <coughs> Turns out the mansion is like two blocks away. <coughs> it took him like. 25 minutes to get down here. Well, he's got lung problems. Yeah, with the lung I do have. Alright. Well, we'll head back to the mansion. Maybe we'll talk about the statues, figure out what our next plan is, you know? So as I'm seeing, since we've only exercised five spirits, that the rest of Japan is basically fucked. It, well, it's all been kind of localized in this one city, and kind of in the outskirts. But it's been kind of, you know... It's been kind of local, really. Hmm. Well, I wonder what we're going to do next, then, I guess. So we'll head back to the mansion. Huh? What did you find? Oh. 
Oh. And the big reveal! His mark is gone. So how terrible of a person am I? Huh. Hmm. They've did, met. Did I experiment on you, or vice versa? Five years ago? And then ten days ago. So, if we met him five years ago, and then we met him just before we got the mark? Did you give me the mark, motherfucker? Met him before he lost his memories. Are you a rabbit? He knows us better than we know us, so... We gotta ask him what he knows. My last name's Cujo, tell me! Alright, 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 alright. I'll buy you fucking ten days worth of McDonald's. You get a hundred dollar gift card to Burger King. I swear to God, just tell me who I am. <laughs> so five years ago. So five spill years it. ago. Spill it. So we showed up at this sh at this shelter. We've been here. That was that must have been us five years ago. Hmm. Mm hmm. Why do we talk about the Cujo family? Hmm. So the head of the Kujo family, at the time of the war, was really big on this Heavenly Buddha project. Mm. The mirror, chisel, wood statues, cursed objects, and old talismans. So those are all brought back. Back at the mansion. Hmm. I got too close. Wait a minute. Are we the one that published Uparts Monthly? <laughs> so what happened ten days ago? <laughs> okay, so Cannon Soldier came back. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. A little. I mean, I want to buy him food, no problem. About a month ago, huh? Hmm. So I've had the mark for a month. I've had it for a while. Yeah. And it's been affecting me for a while now. Oh, typo. Typo! In fact, I completely forgotten my name and passed a few hours after that. I had completey! Oh, completey? Completey! I'll overlook it. It's not P cubes. They've got a lot of typos. Really bad for them, guys. Come on. He's like a Mark Twain character. So he's not a thief. That's good. I gave him stuff, a wristwatch, and a wallet. Hmm. <laughs> seriously. Ah! If our mark is seriously just a tattoo that we're allergic to. Because at this point, that's what it sounded like. Why would it burn, then? Why would it change color? We're allergic to the ink. And oh, it's mixing with blood. At certain times? Yeah, sure. Only when we walk by a certain door? It's ghost ink. So what is in the wallet? Bills, coins, and some business cards. Business cards. cards. Sayakujo yep. Spirit Healer. Saw that. Oh, yeah. Ah. 
So probably soon after their meeting, that's when he lost all of his memories. Maybe the opening of the game was us walking away from that meeting. Leaned on the L button. Yeah, how's that button? We can uh, go back a little bit. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's about the cannon shoulder. No way a human head on a statue would make it move, but it actually moved. My bad! Sayakujo. Oh. her it had to have been the mark it had to have been the mark oh, and that's about the end of his well of knowledge damn it all right so he's gonna hop in my car and we're gonna go take off. Whew! That is a lot to take in, not gonna lie. Freaking wow. <laughs> Although, um, it's not over yet. Still got more to do. There's still more mysteries to unfold. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be great. All right. I'll see you next time on Death Mark. <laughs>